Welcome back everybody and today's video is about the derivative of tan x. So this is in the AP Calc course, also in higher level IB. I have three questions here. Um, they get progressively more difficult. I have to substitute radians in on the first one and also on the third one, I have to differentiate tan squared but also then leave it in terms of sine and cos. The first uh, thing to note is that in the formula booklet, if you have been given one, that the derivative of tan x is actually sec squared x. So first of all, what is sec squared? Well, that is secant, and it stands for 1 over cos x, okay? Now, a good way to remember that is the third letter in here is the thing that you're dividing by. There are uh, any, um, other reciprocal trig functions that you can do in the same way, but secant is 1 over cos. Right, uh, But more explicitly, we need to note that if tan has a function of x here, so it isn't just x on its own, uh, what we need to do be uh, mindful of is that it turns into sec uh, squared again, but then we must multiply by the derivative of f. We will see that in the following problems. Question 1. Let f of x equal tan 4x, find the derivative of f, and then substitute pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. So first of all, then, if f of x is equal to tan 4x, we know instantly that the derivative of this is secant, okay, which is sec squared. And then what we do is we leave that function of x the same inside there. But what we must not forget is what I showed you just above is times by the derivative of this. So the derivative of that is just going to be 4. So our answer is 4 sec squared 4x. Okay, but it does now ask us to find um, a value when we substitute pi over 4 in. So we've got f prime pi over 4 is equal to 4. Now I'm going to rewrite sec just like 1 over cos squared, and this is 4 times uh, pi over 4. Okay, now the pi, the, the 4s will cancel here. Okay, making that nice and simple. So this is 4 over cos squared pi, okay? Now, if we just use the unit circle on this little part here to remind us that as you rotate pi around the unit circle, so that is 180 degrees, you'll be on the left-hand side here, and that is minus one, because remember, horizontally is cos, right? And so if we are on the left, then that is minus one. So minus one squared will be one. So the final result here is four over one, which is just four. Okay, it's question one. Question two, simply differentiate tan x cubed. Now, this is a little bit easier than question one, I think, because we know that the derivative of tan will become sec squared. This value stays exactly the same inside there, that function of x, but then we must multiply by the derivative of this. So the derivative of this is just three x squared. And uh, that is the end of the question if we don't need to substitute a value in. Question three, uh, let y equal tan squared uh, e to the 2x, find the derivative function, leave your answer in terms of sine and cos. So there may be an extra step at the end of this one that we need to look at. So if y is equal to tan squared e to the 2x, right? Uh, another way of writing that might be to write down that it's just simply tan e to the 2x, right? all squared, right? Because uh, when we have a trig function, if the squared is there, what it's really meaning is that you're squaring the entire function. Okay, when we want to find the derivative of this, so I'll jump down here now, y prime. Now, what we do is we're going to be using multiple rules here. So we've got chain rule to begin with. So we need to multiply by the power, then take one off the power. But if you do that, then everything inside the bracket stays exactly the same. Okay, and now we've take one off the power. But now with chain rule, we had to multiply by the derivative of the bracket. Now the derivative of that will be sec squared. So sec squared, and we got e to the 2x. Because again, we didn't change anything on the previous ones when we changed it to um, sec squared. We left that the same, but now we have to multiply by the derivative of that bracket. So we've got to multiply by the derivative of e to the 2x. Now the derivative of e to the 2x, first of all, um, it stays exactly the same, but then you've got to multiply by the derivative of the power 
Okay, so there's multiple steps, it's like a domino effect in order to unpack all of this. Okay, and then uh, it says, leave your answer in terms of sign and cause, which is not correct at the moment. We have tan and we've got sec. So let's just tidy some of this up. So first of all, we've got two times two, going to be four. Let me just bring the E to the front. So that's that dealt with. Tan is sine over cos. Now, sine e to the 2x over cosine e to the 2x would be tan, okay? Because sine, uh, the relationship uh, of tan is sine over cos. Uh, so sine over cos times by sec. Now sec is 1 over cosine squared, okay? e to the 2x. So what's going to happen here is we've got to just tidy all of this up that we have 4e to the 2x uh, times by sine e to the 2x okay all divided by cosine cubed e to the 2x there we go okay and we've left our answer in sine and cos good luck with your differentiation of tan let me know how you get on in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel see you next time